sun, Sue here. What a beautiful day we have to be doing this videoing. Wow, lockdown's got a lot going for it. <laughs> if you live in the country, like most of us do, are fortunate enough to do. Um, just before I start this exercise, I, I was asked recently why I'm doing all this. Um, and uh, as you know, a lot of people are, a lot of great trainers are putting up heaps of stuff and it's a perfect time for knowledge to, to absorb what you've got. Um, and when asked why you, are you giving away your secrets or are you telling too much, you know, at the end of the day, I'm nearly 70 and I could fall off the perch any time. <laughs> but at least with, with passing on my, I guess, knowledge, um, for want of a better word, um, I'm passing it on to you. And hopefully, if you just get one little thing out of something that I'm doing or I've said, I've left a little heritage for you. And, and I'm really proud of that. Um, and I've said all the way through my videos, you know, I'm not the guru. I'm just me, Sue Williams. I do what I love to do with the horses I love to do. I've been doing it for many years and I've learned a lot from these animals. They teach me so, so much. And I just hope you get as much pleasure out of doing it as I do. And like I said, I'll be putting as much out there that I've got up here uh, to help you guys. Uh, like I said, not everyone's gonna agree with what I do. I'll guarantee you there's people watch these videos and go, oh geez, I wouldn't do that. Well, that's their choice and that's fine because it, what I do doesn't work for everybody. But if one little thing helps you just get over a little hurdle that you've got, then I've achieved my purpose. So I'm glad you're watching and I really appreciate the fact that we're getting lots of um, lots of feedback from all of this. And I know I am helping a few because they've fed back to me that that's really helped them. So that's great. And you know, if I just help one person, I'm, I'm happy. So moving on, this exercise again is a body control exercise. Uh, I've got five cones here and I'll be just going through the motions. It's a walk, it's a straight walk forward. And again, this is all about straightness between the reins. And then it's a side pass until you get to the other side of the cone. Then it's a walk straight and then it's a side pass. So it's a straight, sideways, straight, sideways, straight, sideways, okay? This is just, you test your horse out. Are the buttons working? Is he side passing correctly or is he keep walking forward? Can he, after his side pass, can he go a straight line again? Ask yourself all these questions, think about it. And remember, slow is better to start with. Get it right, okay? So I'm going to start and you can just check this out and we'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. That was a bit wild and woolly, but that's at the trot. Again, the degree of difficulty is huge. 
and there's lots of things I needed to fix with her doing that. So she got a little bit bold in the face, she got a little bit heavy in the hand, all those things you need to fix as you're doing the exercise. Again, don't get locked into, if you miss a cone, this is just practice. This is just, you know, so if you need to fix a problem, fix it and then go on with your exercise. Don't get too locked into just doing the exercise at all costs, okay? Fix a problem, then go back and do your exercise. Now, one problem that you probably will find, when you do the side pass, you need to remember about your brace ring, that, that when you're going, say this way, you need to keep control of this shoulder with this rein, okay? So remember, you've got two reins here, they control the shoulders. So if your horse tends to drift out one way or another, block it with that rein, okay? It's really, really important and it'll help keep you straight, help keep your horse straight. Hope you enjoy the exercise.